top four in this one. Top four moving on. Some big hitters in this race, guys. This should be a heck of a race for a B feature. I do not see Dylan Silman making the call. We are green. And an excellent start to this one for Baker. He'll work the bottom side, drift up top. Here comes Jackson Sanoff to the inside. And now Shane Hyatt will follow him around. Verbeek shuffled back to the final transfer. And now here comes Sample to the inside. Lap number one goes to Baker. Ryan Sample continuing to work underneath the 4B of Brandon Verbeek, trying to pick up that final transfer spot. Meanwhile, you got a battle for the race lead. Jackson Sanoff trying to put a little pressure on the 25 of Trevor Baker. Down into turn three and four. Breaker, Baker breaks loose. That opens the door. Jackson Sadoff is your new race leader. Jackson Sadoff not wasting any time to take advantage. And he's got the lead. Baker second high at third. Here comes Bob Solbeck, the 5S. Started inside row number five into your top four. Bob Zobeck has now got that final transfer spot, but we still have nine laps left to settle it. And Jackson Sadoff cannot shake Trevor Baker at the line. Trevor Baker was your race leader. Sadoff Spinner gets a good two, run up turn two. number two. Car around turn number two. That's Ryan Sample Spinner in the 97. Two another two turn, another car going around in turn two. That will bring out the caution. No, the car rolls off the racetrack. We stay oh. green. All right, we stay clean and green. Jackson sat off your leader. We're gonna have a three car breakaway for the lead. Baker finding that top side handy. Hyatt down low as well. Here comes Baker back to the lead. Big run for Trevor Baker's gonna get the lead back at the line. Can he hold on to it? Two seems to be a better corner for Jackson Sadoff, and it works this time. Sadoff is gonna have to change his lineup if he wants to hold on to this lead. Coming to six laps left to go. Trevor Baker with a big run again. This just goes to show you how great this track is. Two good defined lines right now. Sadoff makes it work down low. He'll pull away by a car lane. Baker a whip the top side into three and four. Now Sadoff will shut the door. He'll go to the top side and start to pull away. Exactly what Sadoff needed to do. He slid up and took Trevor Baker's line away. And now you can see it reaping the rewards as Jackson Sadoff is gone. Trevor Baker starting to come under fire from the 221H of Shane Hyatt. Hyatt working that low side out of turn four. Baker holds on to it. Four laps left to go. Bob Zolbeck still in that final transfer. He's got about a straightaway difference between him and Verbeek. He's the first car off the bubble. Outside looking in, but your top three have pulled away. Sadoff starting to separate himself from the rest of the field as here comes Hyatt to the inside of Baker. Shane Hyatt took half a last season off after he lost an engine. Baker's going to drift up the racetrack. Hyatt should get a good run down the back stretch. That battle for the runner-up spot continues. Lap traffic could start to come into play in this one. Kevin Stack, the first car to go a lap down. Sadoff will put him down. Meanwhile, Stack is running the same line that Baker and Hyatt are, so Baker and Hyatt both going to have to go to the top side of the speedway as we're going to come to the white flag for Jackson Sadoff. Shane Hyatt still able to work that low side, but Baker is so good off the high side in turn four. White flag is out, final time. Jackson Sadoff is cruising, barring a catastrophe. Jackson Sadoff will roll out of turn four, pick it up the win. Sadoff will take the top spot. Baker comes home second, high at third. Your final transfer will go to the 5S of Bob Zobak. It'll be Verbeek, Hurts, Messenbrink, Dieterding, Sample, and Stack to round out your order. But your Woo. modified feature is set. These four cars will take the final four starting positions in tonight's Ground Pounder A feature. So it'll be Bob Zobeck, Shane Hyatt, Trevor Baker, and your winner, the 96 of Jackson Sadoff. We'll see where some of these drivers run. Saw two distinct lines in the last two B features before this, the bottom and top. Here we go, Davenport and Moore set to bring the field to life. Your Twin Rivers IMCA Sprint Car B feature is green. Alex Davenport, Mitchell Moore down into turn one. Davenport on the low side, he'll get the better run. Good move by Jason Danley. He'll take over the third spot. Nate Weiler in fourth. 
Who's going to lead lap one? How about the move from Moore? What a run coming off of turn four. Then he'll cross it back to the inside, and here comes Danley to the outside. Your defending track champion on the move up to second, and now Mike Boston's getting in the mix. Here comes the boss working that high side. He'll get a big run out of turn four. Danley will hold on to second. Boston will dive to the inside. He'll have third. Mitchell Moore, your leader by a half a straightaway. Mike Boston not wasting any time. He started seventh up to second. Danley back to third. Then it's the 25 of Devonport. Here comes the 14J, Josh Riggins. Josh Riggins in a new blue looking machine is up to that fifth spot, fourth spot, excuse me. Jason Danley in third, Mike Boston in second. Your leader continues to be the 57 of Mitchell Moore. Moore, catfish to the bottom side beautifully. Boston, who was ripping the lip earlier, oh, as we've got one almost going around. Top break for Davenport. He was in the final transfer and he lost it. Now put the fourth machine of Weiler up to the fifth spot. Big move by Adam Golian. Golian goes from ninth to sixth in one lap. The 91, the bull, he's digging at Eagle Raceway. How about it, Adam Golian started 13th. Keep your eye on the 91 with a big run off of four. He's in the final transfer. Weiler outside looking in. Adam Golian has found something on the low side. Back to the front, coming out of turn four. Mitchell Moore putting down some fast lap times. Mike Boston in second, Jason Danley, then Josh Riggins, Adam Goley in your top four. Nate Weiler, first car outside looking in. Adam Goley in the fastest car on the speedway right now. He is under 15 seconds. Everyone else in the 15s. Mitchell Moore now going to have to work on some lap traffic in the next lap or two as Boston and Danley start to close as they go into three. Lap traffic could be a serious game changer as the 23R will be the first car to go a lap down. Mitchell decides to go low. Boston goes high. Mitchell gets hung up by the lap traffic. Boston doesn't get the big run. Danley's right there, battle for second. Two lap cars in front of your leaders. Moore will put the first two cars down. Boston will have to go to the top side to get around him again. Moore will dive back down and oh, into no, Danley. Danley. Wow, what a save, he'll keep it. He's still in a transfer, but here comes Riggins and Gillian. Josh Riggins looking to the outside of Danley. How did he not lose more spots than he didn't lose any there? Four laps left to go. Back to the turn three for Mitchell and Boston. Moore coming off of turn four. He'll put another lap car down. That's Davenport. He'll put him between he and Boston. Here come your leaders down the front straightaway. Golian got around him. Adam Golian gets by Josh Riggins for the fourth spot. Three, two laps left to go. Mace Mitchell Moore has absolutely blistered this field from the drop of the green flag. White flag coming out, final time around for your B feature. Mitchell Moore takes it into one and two. What a run for the 57. Mike Boston about a straightaway back as they work it a three and four, one final time. Picking up the B feature win, it'll be Mitchell Moore. Mike Boston will come home in second. It'll be Jason Dantley holding on for third, going in fourth. And it'll be Josh Riggins, your final transfer in tonight's feature. Well. I mean, that, that took some serious talent for Jason Danley to lose the handling of that car in turn two. Gather it back up, not stall it, and then hold on to the third spot. And how about that last lap, ladies and gentlemen? You're going to keep your eye on your final, or one of your final transfers. Adam Golian put the fastest lap of that race in the final lap of 14.6 compared to over 15 for most of the other drivers. So watch for Golian to hit that A feature. Eagle Raceway, you've waited seven months to get out here and party with some of the best in the business. And you got them all here tonight. One of the toughest classes in IMCA, your A1 Iron IMCA Stock Cars.
20 big laps, 20 big cars. Only one will stand in Demon Decal's victory lane. Mike Nichols, Cade Richards. Max Harder, Jeff Ware, Shane Stutzman, Bo Eggie. That's your first three starting positions. What a stacked field. And Jordan Grabowski's got to come from the sixth row. Gee, can he do it? It's about to get warm. <laughs> Eagle Raceway, green flag is out. Great start for Cade Richards. He's gonna take the race lead into turn one. Mike Nichols will follow him on the low side. Richards, Nichols, Ware, here comes Jeff Ware. How about him mixing up down the back straightaway? Keep your eye on Kyle Van over, slice it and dice it in the 19. Here comes Nichols off the turn four, a 10 time national champions, your new leader. Huge run for the 63, takes the race lead away from the defending track champion. Jeff Ware goes to the high side. Shane Stutzman underneath. Stutzman's gonna take third away from Ware. How about Shane Stutzman on the move? He started fifth up to third. Robbins racing, here comes Kane Richards and now Stutzman on the inside of Nichols. The young man using up the old man. That's the way things go. Shane Stutzman slides up in front of Mike Nichols. He's got the second spot. Nichols back to third. Ware in fourth. Van over top five. Tell you what, Jeff Ware's mixing it up there as well. You're defending Hobby Stock track champion, but he's got Van over all behind him. Bo Aggie starting to make his way to the front with Harder right to his inside. Trouble for Mike Nichols. Nope, sorry, he just hit some whoops and got a little loose. We continue to stay clean and green. Shade Stutzman all over the back bumper of the young gun. Kane Richards, Richards by a half a car length. Here comes Stutzman to the inside. Shane picking Stutzman off. looking underneath Cade Richards. Stutzman's gonna have him by a nose. No, Richards fights back. It's a drag race the down the back stretch. Six flat right rear, six flat right rear. The six car off the racetrack. That's Jeremy down, flat right rear. The battle for the race lead continues. Cade Richards, great job coming off of turn two, working the bottom side. Stutzman went up top, drifted back down to the bottom. Both cars go to the top at three and four. Mike Nichols back there in third. Ware fourth, Van over fifth. Shane Stutzman not cutting Cade Richards any slack. Stutzman's gonna get a big run on the high side. Off turn number two, you got a new race leader. Shane Stutzman, the two-tone and all, the white in black, number 22, S. your leader, Richard second, Nichols third, Ware fourth, Van Over, Eggie, and how about Grabo now coming to the front? Jordan Grabowski looking to the inside, trying to get that spot away, not able to do it off turn number two. Back to the front, Shane Stutzman, Cade Richards, Mike Nichols, Kyle Van Over, and Jeff Ware, battle for the fifth spot is on. Bo Aggie has his hands full right now. Here comes Grabowski. He'll slide up and complete the pass, and he'll have his eyes set on your defending Hobby Stock Track champion. Picked up his first ever win on a stock car on Thursday is Jeff Ware. Now here comes Grabo to his inside. Jordan Grabowski looking to the outside of Kid Perfect. This guy won so many features in a row at Eagle Raceway. Moving up into the stock car class, holding his own amongst the best. Halfway down, Caden Murray on the flank stand, letting him know. Shane Stutzman drifts up the middle, goes to the top. Richards about three car lengths back. Tell you what, Mike Nichols starting to close on those top two in that 63 machine. I was just going to say that, starting to reel in the 1R of Cade Richards. But Shane Stutzman, Cade Richards, Mike Nichols, those three broken away. Stutzman's going to start dealing with a lap car, the 9. That's a B-feature transfer of Gary Laughlin. Meanwhile, Jordan Grabowski and Kyle Vanover start to mix it up a little bit as they go into three and four. Those two, no strangers to each other at Beatrice Speedway as lap traffic starting to come into play for your leader, Stutzman going into one. Stutzman going to the high side, sticking with the same line that got him the lead. He'll get by the lap traffic of Gary Laughlin. Here comes Mike Nichols to the outside. Crossover on Richards, put Mike Nichols to second. Textbook maneuver there for the 63. One of the winning, winningest drivers in all of IMCA. Slow and steady. Well, I shouldn't say slow because the guys are rocket. The 63 and Mike Nichols just took his time and got away around, got found his way around the 1R of Cade Richards. 
six laps left to go now. We're going to have a hornet's nest of lap traffic in a few laps for the 22S of Shane Stutzman. I was just going to say that, Dan. Stutzman's going to have his hands full. He's got six or seven cars right in front of him, a half a straightaway ahead that are two and three wide, and Nichols is starting to close in with their two car lengths going in a one. Can Mike Nichols steal the win away from Shane Stutzman? Shane Stutzman in that two-tone black and white 22S Biden is time. Now four laps left to go. This battle right in front of him is not calming down at all. Nichols makes his move. Where do you go if you're Shane Stutzman? They're side by side going into three of four in front of him. He's going to go to the top side. They could go three wide with the lap cars as they come off of four. He's got to check up. Here comes Nichols at the line. He checked up and slid in front of Nichols. Now he's going to try to split the difference. Nichols might be the one caught in the lap traffic issue. No, Nichols gets a good run off the corner. Everyone working the top side at three and four. Nichols slides up, pushes up. Here comes Stutzman right back to his inside. Shane Stutzman holding off Nichols as they go into one. Two laps left to go. A feature number one. You're getting a hell of a show at Eagle Raceway. Down the back straightaway into three and four. Stutzman with a car lake lead. He's got Boucher to his inside. Barry Bow Brothers in front of him as they come down to the final few laps white in this flag, one. Flag, Where do you go? You can't even plan your route. You just have to do what lap traffic in front of you determines. Shane Stutzman and Mike Nichols going at it for the feature double win. Checkers, out of checkers. turn four, side by side. Sugar Shane gets it done! Mike Nichols second, Kane Richards, Kyle Vanover, and Jordan Grabowski, your top five! They're still racing. I don't think they want to be, they don't want to make the mistake of it being no. the wrong lap. Holy cow, Eagle Raceway, what do you say? That right there is why Roger and Racine Hayden decided to add the stock cars. They call them the class two, tough to tame. That might be the best feature of the night, and it's the first one. Man, alive, just like the, the feature opener for last year, this class just knows how to put on a show. You know, and those two were side by side all race long, and that was good, clean racing. I don't think Stutzman and Nichols touched once that whole race, especially diving through lap traffic, water yeah. race. Navigating lap traffic, and I think I saw Sh uh, Shane Stutzman hit the backstretch wall and sparks fly at one point in time. Great job down there, James. One of the best pit reporters in the business. That's with one of the best drivers in the business. I say my biggest complaint of the night is we haven't got to hear much from James. Okay, maybe the win. <laughs> All right, second biggest complaint is we haven't got to hear from James. All right, set to go, Green Race fans. It is time. Coming off a turn before, it's Avid Realty Sport Mod Showtime! Adam Verbka and Spencer Galloway down into turn one. Out of turn number two, Verbka's going to have a lead down the back stretch. Galloway into the second spot. Looks like Armstrong's moved up into third. Who's going to lead lap number one? It'll be Verbka at the line. Four, as four. We've got, oh, Newton going around. McAtee collected as well. Newton's going to keep it lit, but McAtee's not going to be able to get her fired up in time. So we're set to go green flag racing this time by. We do complete a lap, so it's Adam Verbka, your leader, 17 to go. Galloway Armstrong, Sadoff, and Sherwood, your top five. Set to go back green flag racing. Excellent restart for Adam Verbka. He'll pull two car lengths going down the back stretch. Galloway now has company with Armstrong. Meanwhile, there we go, three wide back there for fifth. Oh, Sherwood tramped up over the top cushion. Here comes Etherton to the inside of the 2014. In that sixth spot, Sadoff now with company. Sherwood's trying to knock the wall down, coming off a two in the zero machine. Up front, Verbka still at the advantage. He is starting to pull away from the field. Galloway, Armstrong, 
Sat off. Ethers hit Sherwood. One, one cart. In the infield. Good catch there, Kurt. That's Noah Williams going around. He goes into the infield. His night is done. We stay clean and green. Two by two, we go into turn three of four. Now almost three wide. Joe Fayan trying to move his way to the pot front. He'll go side by side with Sherwood. Meanwhile, Etherton and sat off side by side in front of him. Tommy Etherton up into the fourth spot. Fayan side by side with Santa for fifth. Vrpka, your leader at the line. Adam Vrpka checking out from this battle for second between Galloway and Armstrong. Galloway doing a good job holding off the 6A of Adam Armstrong. Car up into the outside wall, turns one and two. They're able to get it off. That's the zero of Michael Sherwood. So we stay clean and green. Sherwood up again the Kush. He's been trying to knock the wall down this whole race. Working the extreme high line. He's been the only one up there, but it's been tricky as it's Verbka continuing to click him off. I tell you what, Dan, Armstrong starting to reel in Galloway in that battle for second. Adam Armstrong, one of the more talented young men in this sport. His father will be racing later. Gets a little too high, and he loses all of that ground he made up on the 30 machine, 35 of Spencer Galloway. 10 laps left to go for the 7V of Adam Verbka. Some of our B feature runners starting to make their way through. Kovar and Nerid trying to get themselves into the top 10. A hornet's nest going into one and two, about eight cars. Nine laps now left to go for Adam Verbka. Found out just a few weeks ago he's going to be a father of twins. And he is putting them, putting it to the woodshed out tonight. Spencer Galloway still holding off Adam Armstrong. Meanwhile, Tommy Etherton and Joe Fayan still duking it up. That's your top five. Then it's anyone's guess. Boy, right around the 10th spot, and we got contact. Kovar getting to the wall. outside wall. Yeah, Carvar, Kovar got pushed into the outside wall, but that was just a nowhere to go. Six laps left to go now, or seven. I'm. I'm having trouble following the scoreboard because it changes randomly, so I do apologize, but God, look at the different battles all throughout the field. Adam Verbke has got this locked up, but there's five or six different battles throughout the field. I tell you what, keep your eye on Tyler Nairn. He is the hard charger. He started 20th, and he is just outside the top five. Adam Armstrong just lost the tire. The tire came apart. A yep. hunk of it is sitting up on the high side of one and two. Adam Armstrong is off the racetrack. So it's Verbka, your leader. Galloway second, Etherton fan. Here comes Nairn in the 5T from 20th to 5th. How about that, Tyler Nairn? I'm worried that he wasn't even going to make the transfer in the C feature. He's in the B, makes it out of the B. He's got a big run out of turn four. Tyler Nehrud gets two spots in one corner. Boy, if there is a caution, the two drivers in front of him are not going to want to see it as Verbka dominating this one. He's got a car between he and Galloway as he goes into one and two with lap traffic in front of him, but the field's starting to run out of time. Adam Verbka working the high side, turns three and four. Out of turn four, he's got the lap traffic of Honest Scouting in front of him. Three laps left to go now. Verbka working the high side again, turns one and two. Matt Andrews is another driver that's made his way through. He started 16th. Matt Andrews up to seventh, so some hard chargers late in this one. But Verbka continuing to dominate with Scouting right in front of him. Two laps left to go. Verbka just can't seem to get around caution, the ONA of Honest Scouting. And we got a car on the low side, turns three and four. The caution is out. Rut row, Raggy. Just when you thought Adam Verbka was going to be getting that big check and headed into Demon Decal's victory lane, the caution comes out and he's going to have some serious, serious heat on his bumper. Going we'll green, figure green. it out for two laps. Green, white, checkered, going green out of turn four. Eagle Raceway, how about one more time? A close finish, huh? Get up on your feet for these sport modified drivers. Verbka leads us around, and here we go. Verbka will go to the bottom side of one and two. Galloway there as well. Here comes Nerrit, and now Etherton into the mix. And Fayan gets a good run off turn number two. 
Verka pulling stretch, away by two wide, car links over Galloway. White flag, no, two laps to go. Excuse me, two laps left to go. That's what I get for trusting the scoreboard. <laughs> Adam Verbka, Spencer Galloway, Tyler Nehrud. Nehrud looking to the outside of Spencer Galloway. Nehrud's going to make the move. Pay no attention to that lion SOB of a scoreboard. White flag is out. Here comes Galloway. Verbka jumped the cushion and turned number four. We're going to come down to the final corner. The 35 all over the back bumper. The 7B as they go down the back straightaway. And the three and four. One final time. Trying to pick up the first win of the season. It's going to go to Adam Verbka. Spencer Galloway, Tommy Etherton, Tyler Nairn, and Matt Andrews, your top five. Newton caught the wall coming out of four there. Man, alive. What a race. I absolutely love the fact Adam Verb could pick up that win. He has been coming for the last couple of years. He's worked his butt off in the offseason. And tonight, he will visit Demon Decal's Victory Lane!